Crim 2 News at Noon begins now. Right now on Crimpton News at noon, the two candidates running for the top leadership position here in Washington State. They met on the debate stage here in Spokane last night. We hear from both candidates as we count down to Election Day. And like yesterday, our weather is absolutely perfect for today. But for those first days of fall, tracking yet another warm up. Talking about fall, we are just one day away from Oktoberfest in Coeur d'Alene. A look at all the action ahead of the big festivities. Hi everyone, it is good to see you. Welcome to Crem2 News at Noon. I'm Laura Papetti, and we begin with this. The date of Brian Koberger's first hearing in Ada County has now been announced. Koberger is the man accused of killing four University of Idaho students back in 2022. A status hearing is now scheduled for a week from today, next Thursday, the 26th. Koberger was moved from Leta to Ada on Sunday. A judge ruled the suspect would not receive a fair trial in Leta County due to extensive media coverage. And at 12.01 right now, we are just 46 days away from Election Day. Last night, Washington's two candidates for governor squared off for the second debate. This one happening at the Fox Theater here in downtown Spokane. Bob Ferguson and Dave Reichert touched on a variety of topics, including small businesses and housing. Crem 2's Connor McAvoy has more. Democratic candidate Bob Ferguson and Republican candidate Dave Reichert were asked what their plans would be going forward for business support across the state. Ferguson says if elected, he would want government to advocate for small businesses. Sometimes we need to streamline our government on behalf of whether it's small businesses or anybody else. One thing I've pledged to do as a governor is to do exactly that. Reichert says streamlining is a burden on businesses, emphasizing what he says are unnecessary inspections and lawsuits being the reason why some business owners are having to close doors or move to a different state. We've got to stop suing our businesses so they can stay in Washington state and be productive. Ferguson says the high cost of housing is a critical issue across the state, affecting those with or without small businesses, and believes it's the governor's and the state's responsibility to fix the issue. The head of housing is buried in commerce. I'm gonna pull that person out and that team out, and guess what? The head of housing is gonna be a member of my cabinet. Reichert says the issue isn't within government officials, but within Washington laws. He says give renters too much freedom. We need to make it easier for renters, for, for landlords, to evict people who aren't paying their rent. The debate was sponsored by Nonstop Local KHQ, Nonstop Local KNDU, KNDO, Association of Washington Business, and Greater Spokane Incorporated. This is the second debate between the candidates. No others are scheduled. It's been nearly 40 years since a Republican's been elected in the office of governor. In the newsroom, Connor McAvoy, Crem 2 News. All right, now let's turn to weather with meteorologist Thomas Patrick. Thomas, it's, I think, absolutely beautiful outside, but I want to know in one word how you would describe the weather right now. Perfect. Oh. How does that sound? That works. Yeah. I like perfect. <laughs> no, seriously, this is a 10 out of 10 kind of day, Laura. I mean, this is just absolutely spectacular weather conditions here. Just a few fair weather cumulus clouds dotting the skies around me here. And our temperatures just shy of 70 degrees right now in Spokane and Coeur d'Alene, but the sun is shining and we're still warming up and probably get into the upper 70s for this afternoon, basically exactly where we were yesterday. In fact, the weather pattern is so similar to yesterday. That's actually how I'm forecasting the high temperature. I looked at yesterday's high and it was 77. I said, yeah, that will probably do for today. So it goes 77, won't be more than a degree or two off of that anyways. Big Blue H, high pressure area, just completely dominating the sky conditions across the northwest of the U.S. here, and that's why things are absolutely clear. Again, maybe just a few cumulus clouds or some high-level cirrus clouds just drifting in, but that's obviously not going to disturb us. Let me see if I can get this map uh, to actually show the red across the uh, nation. In this case, it doesn't, but for early fall, I am promising plenty of warmth to be had across not just the U.S., but especially here in the inland northwest as we go from 77 today to well into the 80s come next week. So coming up, I'm going to show you how many days I'm already forecasting in the 80s for early fall and what some of the highest potential is of these temperatures for those days come next week. So that's all coming up in a few minutes. Thomas, thank you. Spokane Mayor Lisa Brown is asking officials not to ship radioactive waste through the heart of downtown Spokane. 
That waste would come from the Hanford nuclear site as it is being transported to facilities in Texas and Utah in a rail car or within a truck. The plans to send the waste through Spokane came after partners in Oregon expressed concerns about the risks that would be held to their communities. All right, so in a letter to the Department of Energy and the EPA, Mayor Brown said, quote, I am extremely disappointed to learn that following the expression of serious concerns by our friends from the state of Oregon and the Confederated Tribes of Umatilla Indian Reservation, your agency shifted your planned route to go through Spokane. So she is urging them to reconsider that decision. WSU researchers are looking into a rare case of the plague that was found in a blind deer in southern Idaho. The animal was found on June 9th in Custer County, Idaho, and fish and game euthanized the deer the next day. Pathologists say the plague is caused by a bacteria that lives in the western U.S. and then circulates among rodents and other animals. The disease occurs in the deer's eyes, causing blindness. However, in humans, exposure can lead to serious illness or death. Wildlife officials are urging hunters to avoid contact with animals that appear blind or who are showing some abnormal behavior. A Ritzville man arrested for stalking a college basketball star. How close he got and how she is now reacting coming up in just two minutes.